Hi guys, you should be watching this video before you start completing the descriptive language graphic organizer. I'm going to show you how to complete this and then you will complete the rest on your own. The instructions for this activity are to skim through our story, the jacket, looking for examples of descriptive language. So an example of sensory language, simile, simile and metaphor, and then a metaphor on its own. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do this with the simile and metaphor. I am in activity 1.6 in Springboard Digital. To get here, I used the table of contents um, and scrolled down and clicked on the activity. So that's what you should be doing as well. Um, when it asks us to skim through the text, it means we're not necessarily reading it um, again word for word. We are kind of just rolling through it quickly, looking for an example. So I'm going to do the simile and metaphor. And I know here in paragraph 10, it talks about how I finally scotch taped it closed, but in rain or cold weather, the tape peeled off like a scab and more stuffing fell out until the sleeve shriveled into a palsied arm. Here, I finally scotch taped it closed, but in rain or cold weather, the tape peeled off like a scab. That is a simile using the um, like to compare it. Um, and then it continues on to say, and more stuffing fell out until the sleeve shriveled into a palsied arm. We know that the jacket sleeve did not actually turn into an arm, but the author is comparing it to. Um, a palsied arm. And the great thing about Springboard Digital is these words that are underlined and bolded you can click on and it will tell you the definition. So it says shaking uncontrollably because of an illness. So the author is saying that he um, taped up his jacket until it really couldn't be taped anymore and it was really gross looking. It looked like a scab and it was like a a shaking sick arm. So in our descriptive language graphic organizer, we are going to type the example here. And the example was finally scotch taped it closed but in rain old weather, the tape peeled off like a scab, nothing fell out until that sleeve filled into the arm. So I have my example type there, and then I'm going to analyze the effect. The effect, and what this means is I'm going to look at what is the author trying to tell me with this simile and this metaphor, um, and how, what is he trying to describe? He's trying to describe what the jacket looks like after so much time has gone by, um, and he's telling us that it looks like a scab, a peeled off scab, and we can all imagine in our minds what that looks like as well as a sh uh, shaking uncontrollably sick arm. So here I am going to put that it describes the um, terrible or um, shabby condition of the jacket over time. So the author is telling me how bad it looks with this simile and metaphor. So after I've looked at um, kind of what the descriptive language is trying to do, I'm then going to decide was it effective? Did it really um, achieve what the goal was here? And for this, I do believe that it um, did achieve the goal. So I'm going to put comparing jacket to a scab and a arm is effective 
because and it's effective because it does give me an idea in my head of what it looks like and it gives me the idea that it looks um, almost unhealthy it's no longer um, put together well it looks almost sick because he's describing it with a peeled off scab and a pulsating arm so I will say um, it makes it seem like an unhealthy thing so you guys will do the sensory language one the simile and the metaphor on your own type your example here and then remember when you're analyzing the effect you're putting what was the author um, trying to describe or trying to communicate to us with the piece of descriptive language so here you can always start out with describes and then tell me what it describes um, and then here remember you're telling me was this effective did it really achieve the goal of what was over here and you will always do that by typing it is effective because and then tell me why it was affected um, as usual, let me know if you guys have any questions.